So in this video, I will let you know about Blender and ZBrush. This video is going to be the best video for those who are stuck in which software is best, Blender or ZBrush. So let me give you an example that think of Blender is like a smartphone. It can do a little bit of everything, take photos, record videos, play games, edit and so on. From a 3D point of view, Blender can model, sculpt, texture, weight paint, rig, make UVs, animate, light and even renders. It's an all-in-one tool, perfect for someone who wants to do many things in one place. Now if I give you an example for ZBrush, so think of ZBrush in like a DSLR or mirrorless camera. A camera like that can record professional movies, shoot short films and take extremely high detail photos. But you can't play games on it. It's not made for everything but what it does, it does perfectly. ZBrush is focused on sculpting, it's not for people who want to texture or animate their characters. It's for artists who spend hours sculpting and want to create the most detailed, high quality models in the shortest time. A lot of people say you can sculpt amazing things in Blender for free. So why pay for ZBrush? And honestly, if you are not planning to do this as a career, then yes, Blender is more than enough. You can sculpt great models without spending any money. But when you buy ZBrush, when you are going to use ZBrush, you are not paying for quality. You are paying for time. Think of it like this. You can record a short film on your smartphone as well and it might even look good. But if you know you will be filming all day, every day and you want the best result as fast as possible. You pick up a proper mirrorless camera. Why mirrorless camera? Because it's built for that job. It's faster, smoother and made for professionals. The same thing happens with Blender and ZBrush. Many beginners start sculpting in Blender with dreams of becoming professional working in industry. But then they feel discouraged. Their work doesn't look like what they imagine and they get stuck in the technical stuff like curve modifier, ray modifiers and different modifiers, lag and add-ons breaking. Then they think if I can't sculpt well in Blender, I will never be able to sculpt in ZBrush. But the truth is quite opposite. Professionals are not fighting with modifiers and lag all day. In ZBrush, sculpting feels natural and very easy. Almost like your ideas are one click away. If you want to turn a sphere into a creature with ears, just pick the ear brush. Want moisturize? Use a creature eye brush with one click. Even detailed creature skin and pattern are just one click away. It's super fast and super organic. So that's the real difference between Blender and ZBrush. Blender can do it, but ZBrush is built for it. Just like a mirrorless camera is built for filmmaking.